Yeah, Shannon, the, a pedestrian was killed in the first crash that was reported around 430 AM. About three hours later, Leewood police officers responded to another reported single car deadly accident. Now those two separate crashes claim the lives of three men. Captain Brad Robbins with the Leewood Police Department says that officers were prepared to respond, but that it's very uncommon for Leewood PD to respond to back to back deadly crashes like this. Unfortunately, there have been crashes that have taken multiple lives, but to have two separate crashes that are both fatalities within such a short time span is extremely uncommon. In Leewood, yes, I, I, we haven't had an event back to back like this in the 20 plus years that I've been here. The deadly crash involving a pedestrian happened near 135th and Chadwick. The driver reported it and cooperated with investigators. Our officer arrived moments later, found that it was a pedestrian, uh, started CPR, and uh, other first responders got there. But unfortunately, that person was pronounced deceased at the scene. Only a couple of hours after that crash was reported, a jogger on the Tomahawk Creek Trail called in an overturned truck near the intersection of College and Mission. There's a lot of curves. Um, on the road here, and so I think people speed around those, and I think that's probably what happened. Police say the truck was going south on Mission Road before it crossed the center median, left the roadway, and rolled at least once. Both the passenger and driver were pronounced dead when first responders got to the scene. Speeding was probably most likely involved just, as I said, judging by the distance, they went off the roadway. So if you're, you're unfamiliar with the area, um, be sure and just slow down and, and look around and, and not speed up, even if you are in fact running late. When the second crash was reported, the Leewood Police Department's crash investigation team was still working the scene of the first crash on 135th Street. It definitely stretches our resources, um, but uh, we were able to call in some people off duty to, to come in and help respond. And the fact that it transitioned between the overnight shift and the day shift gave us additional officers to be able to cover what we needed to do and, and still provide protection for the rest of the city. Leewood police want to hear from anybody that were driving on 135th near Chadwick whenever that pedestrian was struck and killed. If you happen to be out during those early morning hours, you can call on that information to the tips hotline. Shannon.